Hey everyone, Shaver1000 here. Today we just... Why are you so dark? Let me see if I can do something here. There, that's better. Today, I got a couple things to do. First thing I got to do is unhook this trailer. Whenever Monkey uses this, she won't back it in. So, I got to back it up, turn it around. When I unhook the trailer, put some air in the front tire of the tractor, we're going to get up on the roof, blow some of that stuff down. We're going to move the Corvette forward. And, um, yeah. Uh, and then I'll mulch that up the best I can, get ready to put Christmas lights up. So, seat finally cracked. All right. See if we can get this thing started. first got together the uh, running boards are all rusted out and everything so this thing has a lot of hours on it let me see if I can zoom you in on it it's outlived its life I just keep it going you know Uh, so much gas we got in here. Well, it's not running out of gas. Ah, I, th I just think it's getting tired. Alright, let's move the Corvette forward if it'll start. 
I was listening to the radio the other day. I didn't have it running, so. I gotta get sometime the fan, the cooling fan off of the radiator. Makes a real, real weird noise at first, and then, and then it's fine. But here. this thing's ever started. You know what? The timing's off. Now I did find... Oh. I did find he does have for this ostrich now I don't know if the ostrich is doing any good or not but I did find that um he does have, let me see. Uh, on his computer, uh, the software for that thing, and I do have the plug for it, the USB and whatever it takes to plug it in. fan try to move this thing forward got a lot of compression so the brake pedal is kind of hard to push um, he made this thing have a lot of compression so when he made all that compression um, he got a there's a part you can get that'll help you with the vacuum on it so you can, your brakes are better so we're just going to blow that off of there um, First, I'm going to air the tire up. So, I've seen guys, I don't think I've ever done this trick, but I've seen guys put oil, just motor oil in these things, and it swells up any cracks or anything. I may try that sometime, but I don't think I've got any oil that I can spare to put in a tire. You don't have to fill it up. You just got to just put it in and run it around a little bit I actually seen musty one do that and it worked but well that could be an issue why well I don't think it's the issue because all right let me get my thing tighten that up but it is dry cracked really bad. That's never come out of there before like that, but it's just really dry cracked. All the tires are. I fixed the back one. And this one, they all went flat. But they was leaking around the beads, so I just popped them off the beads and I put uh put some grease around the rim and that worked. So That'll be all right for now. I'm gonna back this up. I'm gonna go get the ladder. Then I gotta wash all this stuff off. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today or not. Let's see. But, all right. And then what I'll do is I'll run back and forth mulching this up. I don't, I've got a mulch plate for it, but it won't fit on right now because someone is hit something with it real hard at one time there it is right there and it doesn't doesn't fit right that's not the mulch plate but uh so i gotta fix that and then i can put a mulch plate put the mulch plate on it 
and uh, it'll mulch better. But I do have mulching blades, so once I blow all that stuff off of there, off the top, down onto the ground, we should be all right. <coughs> so I'm going to get you. A, I'm going to go get the ladder. I'm going to get a tripod, and I'll get you set up on the tripod. I'll get up there, and I'll use the blower that was sent to me, and then. Um, yeah, we'll go from there so let me get that done i'll be back with you all right guys i got you clear back here because well the sun so let me get up there and let's get some of this stuff well let's get it all blown off the front here and then uh and we'll do something else i'll speed you up Things running on one cylinder again. Did you just hear it backfiring? Uh, I think it's got to be a coil, man, because the last time I did all them checks on it and everything, everything checked out okay. Uh, and it was running on one cylinder, and then in the video, it happened to start running on two, or it was firing on two. So I got one, I can't remember, I think it's the right side, which I know we're looking left, but. The right side is as you're looking on the tractor so um, this side here it was it didn't have spark and then when I went to film well it had sparks I think I got a coil or a wire or something going bad in it but it's only running on one cylinder right now so hmm yeah okay well I don't know let's go ahead and let's lose that off all this stuff's going to be moved. Um, I'm going to get the pressure washer out, and we'll pressure wash that. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll go from there. That roof's getting bad up there, guys. <laughs> but just can't afford 14 grand for a new roof right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Let me get the pressure washer out and get it hooked up. I'm going to scoot you guys back because, you know, this is my good camera. Well, the expensive camera, I should say. And 
and I'll speed you up through that too. All right, let's get started. Pressure washer sprung a leak. Still pressuring, but it won't shut the motor off. Oh boy. That's not good. this up down through here it's not so bad then I'm gonna spray some bleach on it see what happens yeah so looking for something to do last night do a late night video monkey said have you broke anything lately and I'm like no well today I did uh, it's probably a seal bad inside of here and if it is this old thing I'll just try to use some gunk on it or whatever hopefully it's not a crack if it is i'll try jb well this is just an old one her dad had i want to keep this one in good shape because i don't have another wait a minute yeah i do i got the battery powered one i totally forgot all about it damn okay well that's all right because this will give us i may work on this tomorrow or late night tonight probably tomorrow uh let me see i do have a regular pressure washer i think it's 3100 i just i need to put a pump on it and get some hoses and stuff so all right well we're going to be i'm going to put the golf cart on the charger for a little bit and then i'm going to uh take the tractor back around back again and then that might be all i'm going to do today monkey made it back she got some timu stuff so they're excited about making a video so all right i'll be back with you guys all right, let's take this thing around back. I hosed it off. Every time I hose it off, more paint comes off of it. Uh, underneath these pads, there's hardly anything there. It's, it's rusted out. But like mine, I've showed it before. Mine, the paint is like fading or wearing off. This is just chipping off. I don't think they use primer on this thing. But I can buy this whole fender, this whole unit for like a hundred bucks and um there we go of course i gotta use my plastic uh my foot guard things the seat you know these fender guards i gotta use all that stuff but still 100 bucks that ain't bad because these stickers right here just those are 50 bucks and the stickers that go down here that stick on there and tell you all the safety stuff like if he's going to restore this thing which i'm not um they're like 80 bucks oh crap get the seat all wet all right let's take this thing around back then we'll come back and we'll get the uh golf cart and see if it'll run around back
for okay. now. Yeah, that's definitely one cylinder. Uh, mine's only running on one cylinder too. Of course, it is only a one cylinder. But I'm gonna bring that golf cart up here. Well, I'll park it up there if it'll go that far. I need to move all this stuff. I gotta get this. This is the mower deck for mine, so I gotta get it uh, get it moved and. if I can get a run for it. <laughs> nope. Come on, baby. Uh, see, it's reading full charge. But I, all the batteries aren't bad. They're all reading, well, reading six volt, volts. But like I jacked it up the other day and put a full throttle. Like right now, it'll be reading uh, 51 volts on the batteries. But as soon as I push the thing down to the floor, it drops down to 36 volts. So I may have to pull this thing up here. Yep. All right, I'm gonna get the tractor and we'll pull this thing up here. All right, we got it back around here now. Ugh. I'm just not gonna put a thousand dollars in batteries on that golf cart. I'm just not gonna do that. And that's what they cost. There's eight batteries in here and they're like $110 a piece plus tax. So it's over $800 plus tax. Uh, yeah. Ain't gonna do that. Now let's see if we can get around here. <laughs> Stuck in the vines over here. back here like I used to because I got this tarp on this piece of board here and uh, it's a log we pulled it around from out front that's what's holding the tarp up there so Trying to trying not to make so much noise because 
monkeys filming, so yeah, I'll get all that stuff cleaned up tomorrow. I'm gonna call it a day today, I think. There we go. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on this adventure. I mean, not, it, well, it wasn't an adventure. I was just doing stuff. <laughs> like Monkey said when we first got together, YouTubing can't be that hard. All you do is start the camera and do stuff. Or something like that. <laughs> Turn the camera on and do stuff. Yeah, okay, now she's finding out. You know, with, you get memory card problems and all that stuff, so. <laughs> all right guys again thanks for watching shea bear the man of legend I'm gone for now i'll probably be doing a ev uh, video every day until thanksgiving and on thanksgiving i'll make a video so anyway guys that's that's just a few more days i got the turkey thawing in the fridge and so yeah i don't know uh, i'll probably do something special thanksgiving eve and then Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, I'm not going shopping. I'm going to be out front. I'll bring you guys with me and we're going to hook up our lights. Right on, guys. All right. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys. Take care. Be safe, everyone. <laughs>